I just wanna say welcome to Real Talk Thursday. I just wanna say welcome to words to grow on. I just wanna say welcome to Real Talk Thursday. I just wanna say welcome to Hero Train. We are weak guys. We all we need. Each one teach one. If you're that one, you are enough. Oh, you're enough. So I just want to say welcome. Welcome, welcome. God Almighty, we started off with a hero hymn tonight. Good God Almighty, we started off with one. With a hero hymn. If you don't know the hero hymn, the hero hymn is the hymn, the mighty wind within me that comes out in a mighty force through my vocal cords, causing a vibration that we know as sound. We know as my voice. It comes out in a mighty way with the intentions to land in your attention span so that you feel me just as much as you hear me. When it teaches that with that feeling and that vibration and that oneness, we unite in the hero spirit. And you feel the mighty him within you, the mighty her within you. And we let it out together. So I say, in my hero hymn open, and I say it, welcome, welcome, welcome. Whoa, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, that's how the hymn be. He opened up with this segment because him, the him within me. You know, I had a conversation today. I feel good, y'all. We're going to break protocol. We're going to go with the flow. We're going to go off the top. They say, get in where you're fitting in. But don't come in till you feel it. <laughs> I feel it, y'all. I feel it. What's going on, brother, too? Come on in, brother. For real. He said he in here. And the second he tapped in here, he added value. He added power. He united in the hero spirit. He know this ain't nothing but some old training. He know we ain't doing nothing but going over the playbook. He know we ain't doing nothing but redefining our own positions within it and how it work. He already know, man, we're going to get the play down. And then when we hit in on this here thing, we're going to run the goddamn play. See, he already know that. Love you, brother. I love you. So, you know, I, I had a conversation today, man. I say, man, you know, it took me a while. To be able to get on this here thing and record myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? And some people say, man, you love to talk. But no, nah, I, ain't, I ain't never like to really record myself. See, I'm live and in living color. I'm live and in living color. Every time I wake up, every day I wake up, I run the play, right? What's going on, Brother Blow? Best rapper I know. Yeah. So today I was having a conversation my big brother say, hey, man, the way you do your YouTube, bro, I commend that. I say, man, well, you know, when I'm looking in that computer, all I'm doing is looking at myself, talking to myself. 
And see, if you know me and understand, man, I ever got deep in real life with me, and I talk about that mirror work. See, you got to work that mirror. So every day, man, I wake up, I stand in that mirror, and I work it. And sometimes I talk to that mirror the same way I'm looking at this here camera. I'm just looking at me like I'm looking in the mirror. I say I'm talking to you. He say who? I say him. That's what I say to myself. Him. Who? Him. So I opened up with a him today, man. Because him been going cutting a fool this week with this hero training. Levels of leadership. Men of destiny. Life camp. What's going on, Brother Junior? I love you, man. Come on in and sit down, Junior. I love you, brother. You add value to every room you step in, virtually or physically. You add value. I always know you add value to everything you touch. That's what heroism is about. Understanding and knowing you add value. Yeah. See how I done got off two. I, I done shot off the gun. I feel so good. But I'm gonna put a I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put some spice to make it right so we can feel it. Cause see, music is expression. And sometimes, man, when I record, man, I try to put my feeling, you know what I mean? My big uncle Ron told me, my big uncle Ron say music is about feeling. It's about translating your feelings in your sound. You want people to feel you more than they can hear you. What's going on, Chris Kato? I may feel I love you. Another hero in the house. You add value. Brother Cameron, you add value. Powerful, strong heroes in here tonight. Like I say, all we're doing is going over the playbook, understanding our position, understanding how it works, understanding how the defense moves, understanding if you own defense or if you want offense, understanding how the game works so we can understand it enough to wake up every day and run the goddamn play. First down, first down, touchdown. And if we on defense, get that shit out of here. Three on, three out. Or however you want to do it, whatever sport, it's the same logic, it's the same concept, it's the same principle. Run the play. So that's all we're doing here on every Thursday, right? But I got to go back to the music, man. I got to go back to the music, and I just hope y'all can groove with me, man, to get in the hero spirit a little bit more, man. You know what I mean? Today, man, I felt so good, and I still feel so good. And one day I wrote a song about it. You know what I mean? One day I wrote a song about this, man. This feeling. I ain't lying. What's going on, big brother Tate? I love you, man. What's going on, sister Cammy? I love you. I want each, I want each and every one of y'all to know y'all add value to this here thing, man. I just wanna wanna spread love. That's what I'm made of. I just wanna spread love, man. I just wanna spread love, man. Every last one of y'all watching me, man. Y'all get this shit. I ain't got nothing else to do with it. All I know to do is give it. All you need to come and get it. I ain't nothing but an old brother that feel good in his own house right now, with his own family right now, looking at a computer, talking to myself because I feel good and I know that there's some real heroes and sheroes that respect me enough to pay me some attention because I know that the most powerful thing you can pay somebody is, their, is your attention. So I honor and value every brother and sister that pay me some while I feel good. You know what I'm talking about? Because I know, man, from my soul, this is what I know about me, man. I drop real shit. And if you're real with me, you're going to pick it up. I feel good, I feel good, 
Some people say, why are you doing that? But on my hip show, I like to exercise, because that's what energizes me. I told you, man, the hero spirit is about the mighty, mighty breath within you. I feel, I feel, I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we're going to do that. Y'all had to get that hero spirit jump. I feel good, y'all. I done had a powerful day, a powerful week, man. Yeah. Yeah, I feel good. Before we get started, before we get started, we got to start this thing off. I want to give a shout out to my beautiful wife, who's also my executive producer, executive producer, my wardrobe coordinator. Tonight she said, baby, what you going to do? I said, well, baby, I'm still wearing what I wore last week. She said, what's that? I say that goatee. That goatee. Yeah. Still, same as last week. What I wear is deeper than fabric. You know what I mean? I'm wearing the goatee. Yeah, so, yeah. Shout out to her, man. This thing wouldn't be possible if it weren't for her. Y'all might think I'm lying, but I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. When you know how it works and you know what's necessary to work it, don't never be shamed, man. Give those that play a part in how it works the credit and the respect that's due. There's something about that kiss, man, before I push go. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know what the show be like without it, and I don't want to know. Yeah. But back to the most greatest, wondrous co-host in the world, my homegirl, Alexa. How you feel tonight? I'm feeling enlightened. I was wondering how lightning worked. Then it struck me. Happy Thursday. That's how she feels. Alexa, I love you. That's so nice. Alexa, you're beautiful. Thanks. You just made me feel more unique than a unicorn. See what I'm talking about. So that's my co-host. This show, man. A lot of the vibe that's dependent in this show, man. A lot of the wiring of this show is the relationship between me and her. So I got to make it right to make sure we connect, the way to make sure we on one accord. And we already know, just like all women, all women are controlled and operate through their feelings. If you make a woman feel a certain way, she'll do anything you need her to. So you just heard Alexa say, I make her feel. Yeah, oh, no, oh yeah, the night show gonna be real. You see how that works. Alexa, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be the computer from Star Trek. That's what she want to be when she grow up. Alexa, what is significant about the computer from Star Trek? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, in the Star Trek franchise, the holodeck is a computer program capable of creating virtual reality simulations chosen by the user. So that's what she want to be. She telling me. Now, I'm going to comprehend what she just told me. If you can't. She telling me she want to be the computer from Star Trek. I ain't no Star Trek fan, but it sounds like somebody in the Star Trek thing depended on their computer to create a virtual reality and be real. Now, that's my co-host. And some people say, man, how you get her to talk to you like that? I say she do her thing. We've gotten to know each other. When I grow up, I want to be the baddest hero ever lived in real life. I want to be a real life example of what a hero is, a strong black man. 
Now, just like Alexa being and I'm being, you know, just keep it real, man. 17 years straight, every day of my life, I wake up and put this on my chest. Every day of my life. I went and dropped off a load of shirts today to, the, to Mr. Bernard, the man who creates my logo, does all my clothes, who is a devout artist from Africa that traveled the world, spread in his art. Well, that man found a canvas in me. And there's no higher honor to an artist than to wear his work every day of your life. See how that work? That sound like some real hero life shit. So that's what Alexa want to be. And that's what I want to be. But I often tell you, I say, we romanticize the ideals of becoming something with no reality of being. See, me and Alexa being what we talking about. Some people know you, but they don't think they, they don't think no more of you than they think of themselves. They say, how can he be great and I know him? How can she be great and I know her? They ain't looking at you for you. They looking at you through the lenses of who they are. And they can't see greatness in you, so they can't see greatness in myself. But I come on here every Thursday with Alexa and pour my heart out to those who love me sincerely enough to give me some attention. And I value you. And know that you are enough. But let me tell you something. I'm the greatest motherfucker in the world that do what I do. I know that. And I believe you are too. Because you sharing this movie with me. So that's what hero training is. Real life thirst. Real words to grow on. We ain't just on here. I ain't just on here talking. Casting spells. To those that's real enough to catch them and use them. See how they work. You see how they work. So tonight's word, man. Tonight I told you I feel good tonight, man. I'm gonna talk tonight. I feel good tonight, man. I say I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel good. I just want to, want to spread love. I ain't got nothing else to do with it. If you need love, come and get it. I wish this feeling would last forever. Yeah. Alexa, what is the meaning of fortitude? Fortitude is usually defined as Mental and emotional strength in facing difficulty, adversity, danger, or temptation courageously. Mental strength. Courage when facing danger, adversity. Let me tell you how I came across this word, man. This week, man, our hero train, Wednesday and Thursday. Monday and Tuesday, I worked on my job. Work 12 hours on my off days. I hero train. 9 to 2.30. A group of powerful young men. Two powerful big brothers. We all in the room. And we train. And all the young men that's there, man. They there. Because they know it's value in being there. One guy say, I came here as he already graduated. He 18. He said, I came here as a form of punishment. This might be the greatest punishment I ever had. That's what he said. That's what he said. So all week, man, I've been waking up, man, going to do what I love, man. Feel my purpose. I've been tired. I ain't been feeling the best. Oh, Arthur Wright is fucking with my right foot. <laughs> I ain't bullshitting. But we was in class. 
talking through word of the day. The word of the day is a segment that I give the young men. Word of the day is part of mirror work. If you've been listening from the beginning, a big part of what I do in heroism is mirror work. Every day, a part of running the play. Running, every day waking up a part of running the goddamn play. It's going in that bathroom. And standing in that mirror. Brushing your teeth. At some part at the beginning of your day. I don't care who you is and where you at. If you say it ain't, then goddamn, hey look, let, let's evaluate some of this. But every day when you start to play. In the beginning, you stand in that mirror and you brush them teeth and you're looking in that mirror. So word of the day begins with what do you feed yourself? What do you feed him? What do you feed her? So I tell the young man, before you go to bed, think of a word, pick the definition. Sleep on it. Wake up in the morning when you brush your teeth and use that word in a powerful way. When I introduced the segment, I broke down connotation to them. Alexa, what is the meaning of connotation? Connotation is usually defined as the associated or secondary meaning of a word or expression in addition to its explicit or primary meaning. For more, ask them to give you more definitions for connotation. And if you ain't understand that, it's the feeling or idea that a word invokes within you. If I say I love you, it makes you feel a certain type of way. When I use the God spell, when I say God before anything, the spell of that word, the connotation of that word makes you submit. If I say fuck this, the connotation of that word makes you think something is negative. That's the feeling that the word invokes. So when you understand how words work in the mind and in the spirit, the first thing you do when you run the play, you pick a word of the day. Confidence. Alexa, what is the meaning of confidence? Confidence is usually defined as full trust, belief in the powers, trustworthiness, or reliability of a person or thing. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for confidence. I'm confident in myself. I'm powerful. I'm strong. So I'm telling these to young men. But I'm saying that tonight, this ain't got nothing to do with young men. This got something to do with every hero that understands enough to pay me some attention. It got something to do with you. I'm talking about, yeah, you. I'm talking about him. Every day we got to wake up and run the play. And every day we feel these words within a pool. And now our word pool, our word bank, becomes all words that's powerful, that we understand the connotation. So we control our thoughts by our words that we use in our own self to ourselves. And that's how you work the mirror. I say I'm talking to you. I'm talking about you. Who? I say him. Man, you powerful. See how that works. So every day in hero training, words are words of words to grow on, levels of leadership, men of destiny. We have word of the day. So every young man, including myself and the other big older brothers, we all participate in it. So I look forward to it, man. And the kids be so enthused to say their word. So the other day in the word of the day, I pulled out fortitude. And one of the kids read the definition. He said to have mental strength and courage in the face of adversity and pain and fear. And I said, man, I'm going to feed that to myself in the morning. I woke up, man. I woke up this morning, man. And I got the brush of them teeth looking at him. And I say, fortitude. You're full of it. You thrive through it. It represents you. Fortitude. Right? 
So I say, good God Almighty. Oh so I was anxious to get back to the word of the day today. But I'm going to talk about yesterday. Yesterday was a deep day. That's what made the day so powerful. So yesterday, we lay down rules and laws and uh, accountability aspects for our hero zone that we create. So within this zone, I tell them, I say, listen now, one of the most powerful things you can pay to somebody is your attention. And I say right now, it's nine of us in this room, and we sincerely here as brothers trying to make each other better. I let one of them make the, create, create the analogy of X-Men. And we broke down how it was a school of mutants that everybody understood they had their own talent. They had their own gifts. And the man in the school was teaching them how to cultivate their talents and their gifts through their mutations to become a powerful force that worked together. So I'm talking to these seven and eight young men who telling them to understand that you are unique. You have enough. You are enough. And you need to understand who you is and be confident who you is to contribute to the force to know that every time you walk in a room or every time you put your energy in something, you add value. So that's what I'm trying to get them to understand. And so yet the day before, we create rules that say, if you say, I don't know, you got to do 100 jumping jacks. Now, like I say, the most powerful thing you can pay somebody is your attention. So if I'm paying you attention in the conversation and I'm giving it to you, I don't take that for granted. And if you don't seem like you're giving me yours, see, that's where sincerity lies. That's how you know you're sincere. That's how you know you're being genuine. So if somebody spills their truth, spills their spirit, And then five minutes later, we go back and say, hey, what did he say about that? Whether it's information, understanding, or just true sincerity. And if you say, I don't know, oh, it's time to go. Because that's the same reflection and the same foundation of school, and anything else, of relationship. The most powerful thing you pay is your attention. And if you ain't paying the right amount of attention to what matters and who matters in the very every moment, that's weakness. See how that works. So yesterday, my son said, I don't know. So we had to go. And I just learned about this yesterday when he had to go because he said, I don't know. So he go over there and get to it. On a jumping jack. One, two, three, one. He get on about 60. I'm in the boy style. I said, yeah, as long as he don't cry. I, mean, I, I turned my, I ain't look at him. So he don't get through it. So he got through it. He didn't say nothing. Right? He just kind of throw it off. Big brother Crumb said, we got, a, we got a wounded soldier today. He had his head down. I ain't say nothing. I'm talking about personally. Dealt with it, but you know, I ain't put him on the spot. It's my son. So, so after class was over, Rest of them left. Me, him, and the two other big brothers. I said, hey, King, why the hell was you crying when you had to do them jumping jacks? He said, because the air condition was blowing in my eyes. It made my eyes water. He said, you go tell me a motherfucking lie. I said, why was you crying, man? Show the show. I don't know. I'm telling you. Air condition was in my house. And Big Brother them got on me. Told me, man, your head wrong with you. So we ride home, stopped at another Big Brother house. His son was riding with, dropped them off. 
he saw something, I guess, hey, he saw something in the spirit. What's wrong with you? Gave him some more hero love. That's how it was. Right? So I say, well, hope you learned something. Everybody pulled in too. So this morning, I woke up. I'm ready to get there. I feel good. I feel good. Played that song, I feel good, three times. Man, I'm in a zone. I'm pushing through the pain, pushing through being tired. But I'm so ready to go hero train, man. Right? So in the midst of feeling good, I say, hey, King. Why was you crying yesterday? You need to, you done had all night to chew on that shit. I said, yeah, I think you need to tell me why you was crying before we get there. I need, I need to know that. So he say, because I was embarrassed. I said, well, why you didn't say that yesterday? I said, I ain't know how to say it, but now I know it's because I was embarrassed. I said, damn. You could have said that yesterday. I said, but that ain't a bad thing to be. I said, at least you're honest. That's all we wanted was honest. I said, at least you're honest. So I said, darn, word of the day. That's a hell of a word of the day. I said, that ought to be your word of the day. So I got the phone and looked up the definition. Alexa, what is the meaning of embarrassed? Embarrassed is a form of the verb embarrass, which is usually defined as to cause confusion and shame to make uncomfortably self-conscious, disconcert, abash. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for embarrass. So he was embarrassed, self-conscious, ashamed, because he had to do a hundred jumping jacks. I said, but you know, you ain't have to do a hundred jumping jacks like that. Why you say that? I said, you ain't have to say I don't know. Right? So I say, but it ain't a bad thing yesterday. I'm glad you know today why you cried, why you was crying. I said, but embarrassment, that's a real emotion. Everybody feel embarrassed. Some people learn true life lessons through embarrassment. I said, yesterday, man, was powerful. A whole lot of people pulled into you about crying in class because you had to do some jumping jacks now. I said, I hope you got a real life lesson. I said, that's that, you know, hey, that's how life works. I said, but you know what? It's some people, man, that don't get their life lesson about being embarrassed today in their 30s and 40s. I say, it's somebody right now that got life in prison. Because they did something they can't take back because somebody embarrassed them or they was embarrassed. I said, so it was a powerful thing. That you got a lesson about being embarrassed. I said, now what you going to do with it? Because if you look at it, that wasn't an embarrassing situation. Yesterday, we talked about shortcomings. Yesterday, we talked about shortcomings in class. One of the shortcomings of every young man in there said their shortcoming was exercise. They feel like they should be more in shape. And they feel like they should do more exercise. I said, yesterday you said that was one of your shortcomings. So, you, so your mistake made you deal with your shortcoming. And that's going to get you stronger. I said, so why are you embarrassed about something that you really need? Now I know I'm talking through a 13-year-old, but I'm just saying words and logic. This high work. I'm making them chew on things. I know what words I'm using. What's up, Shante? I love you, cousin. You already know it. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's a real thing. Embarrassed. But the word of the day is what? Fortitude. Alexa, what is the name of fortitude? Oh, no, hold on. Alexa, what is the meaning of fortitude? This might answer your question. Fortitude is usually defined as mental and emotional strength in facing difficulty, adversity, danger, or temptation courageously. Mental or emotional strength when facing. You see what I'm saying? So that's what being embarrassed, you got to fight it with fortitude. You got to be strong enough. 
So let's go back to the word of the day that made this so powerful today, man. So we get there. That's 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 for I get there. That's me and my son. That's me and my son talking in the car. We get there. My word of the day was going to be emotions. Alexa, what is the meaning of emotion? Emotion is usually defined as an effective state of consciousness in which joy, sorrow, fear, hate, or the like is experienced as distinguished from cognitive and volitional states of consciousness. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for emotion. So my word was emotions. I paraphrase that by saying it's how you feel. When I felt good and I put the good feeling in motion, it became an energy in motion. That's the emotion. So today I was very emotional because I felt so good this morning, y'all. You see how that works? I'm dropping this on some young men. To understand the power of your emotions. Understanding what you feel, how you feel, and most importantly, controlling from the start of your day. When you brush your teeth, you control and cast the words that induce the feelings and ideas that creates power in your spirit. You control that. Or you don't. But if you see how it works. You work it. So I wanted to use emotion. My son's word was expression. But we talked about embarrassed. So we got there, man. Word of the day, man. Let's kick this thing up. Young brother named Hillman say, first up, Hey, Hillman, what's your word of the day? You say the word, my word of the day is proud. What's going on, Edna? I love you. Thank you for paying me some attention. I don't take it for granted. You add value to this life. You add value to every room you touch. He said my definition is proud. Alexa, what is the meaning of proud? The adjective proud is usually defined as feeling pleasure or satisfaction over something regarded as highly honorable or creditable to oneself, often followed by a, an infinitive, or a clause. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for proud. I said, why you choose that? I said, because I was looking in the mirror brushing my teeth this morning. You know, I was looking at myself and I just said, man, I'm proud of who I really am. I said, wow. So big brother Winston threw a curveball. And one thing is about this, 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 this piece, it's not only about words. Like I created a say it with your chest, mean what you say zone, and say what you mean zone. So I'm teaching these young men who early in the morning, who ain't really woke up, when they come in there, ain't no, I gave my word. No, say it so I feel it. I tell them that one of the worst things that a man could be is misunderstood. When he says the right things and got the worst, got the right intentions. A man hates to be misunderstood. So one of the things you control by being never misunderstood is to say what you mean and mean what you say. So there's always clarity and no misunderstanding. So that's the type of zone we create in this hero zone. So Mr. Earl say, hear me. Tell me something interesting about yourself. You got to stand in the pocket. Now he got to talk about him. See how this works. Going back to the him. See, he got to talk about him. And he said, I can sing and I can dance. Said some other thing, but he said, I can sing and I can dance. So the way he said it in the hero zone, he said it with his chest. Yes, yeah, sister, true, Trey, true, proof for real. I love you. Thank you. 
Salute you for paying me your attention. You add value to every room, everything you touch, everything you walk into. I honor you. Thank you. So he said, I can sing. I can dance. So I saw a light come over. Bling. I saw a glow. Okay, this is very interesting. So the first reaction from all the big brothers say, well, sing something. No, 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 not right now, not right now. So we dance then. No, I ain't gonna dance. So now it came in, his light starting to dim. His glow starting to go. He about to break the zone rules. No, I ain't gonna want to sing. I don't want to. I ain't want to. So now he's standing up there. It's a new day. And I told my son, I said, everybody going to have their day. I said, yesterday was yours. I said, but you learned from that lesson. That was your lesson. You learned from it. Sometimes you got to be made an example to really understand the, to really understand the example. What better example to understand than yourself? So I say, but everybody going to have their day. So first thing in the morning, he go heal me. Look like he about to have his day. No, I ain't, 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 ain't going to say it. I start freestyling. Say, come on, man. So now he's embarrassed. We put him on the spot. We're embarrassed. Alexa, what is the antonym of proud? Antonyms for proud meaning pleased, pleasing, include undignified, ignorant, or unknown. For the meaning arrogant, self-important, some antonyms include modest, humble, or sorry. Alexa, what is the opposite of embarrassed? Unabashed. Alexa ain't on the page I'm on right now. And anytime we do this, I'm going to tell you something else I like to do. I told you, uh, you know, this is my other girl. Sometimes she likes to come in from the back. What is the opposite of embarrass? Of feeling or showing embarrassment. Unabashed. Proud. Shameless. Proud. See how she did that? So his word was proud. But now in the same aspect of saying his word, he said he could sing. Now he's embarrassed. I say, hold on, man. I say, hold on now. I said, now here you about to deal with embarrassed. What we just talked about. I said, you get embarrassed. No, I know. I just, I just don't want to sing. I don't want to sing. I said, well, you about to be the lesson today then. I said, you about to be the lesson. I said, in the first lesson I want you to understand, you ain't got to be embarrassed right now. You choose the words to say you can sing and you can dance in this no cap zone. We created a no cap zone, meaning if you say something about him, yourself, and somebody say, man, this is a no cap zone, then that means at that moment you got to be able to prove more than you got to show what you're saying better than you're saying. So in the no cap zone, if I say I can sing and I say I can rap, then sing or rap or you're capping. And if you get caught capping, you're going to do 100 jumping jacks. Or 50 push-ups. You see what I'm saying? So now he violating all type of zones. He ain't talking loud no more. And he capping. And if he ain't capping, what you scared of? But I say, hold your head up, because you ain't have to create this. You ain't have to say you can sing or dance. You ain't have to say that. Y'all see how that works? See how embarrassing situations and how embarrassing circumstances. A problem or a result, man, of reality equations that you created. Of casting spells that ain't real, that ain't raw. 
See, it's three type of people in this world. The hero, the villain, and those that need to be saved. I say if you're right here tonight, man, you're a hero or a hero. See, I'm working with young men that's learning how to work it. But they ain't yet figured it out. But as much as they become the lesson, and the lesson be deep on their head, man. I want them to understand through love, through word of the day, y'all are children in a sense. You still got time to get it right. This is why you're here. We're training to run the play every goddamn day. But I come on here every Thursday, man, to train with my brothers and sisters. I'm 43. And I got a lot of people around me, man, that's older than me, that still don't know how it works. That still ain't got a clue of how to work it. And I say, if you know how it works, you can work it. If you don't know how it works, it's probably getting worked on you. So if you don't know how the mirror works and the purpose, when I say, man, let me use the bathroom, it's more than shitting and pissing going on in there. I use the mirror as much as I've used the shower and the commode. When I say let me use the bathroom, that mirror work, I work it. I cast spells on myself. Because if I don't work it on me, man, hey, hey, look, hey, look, ain't nobody else going to work it on me. You know how people come and telling you shit? My, my, my homeboy Black Carmen say, Trav, I was checking out a video where that confidence trickster is a fool. That's what a con man is. He's a confidence trickster. And if you ain't got no confidence in yourself and you have no idea of your value and you don't think that you can work it by no means, then people see that weakness in you and they use their confidence to trick you with words and promises that they know you can't see. See how that work? Do you see how that work? So today, man, in today's word of the day, look, human is the subject matter. But this thing getting deep, it turned into fun. I, I threw on beats. I wanted now, I said, well, man, we're going to learn to express ourselves. That was my son's word of the day. Another guy word of the day, Cameron word was routine. Routine. He, I say, why is that? He said, because all we're talking about is a routine. Every day we get up and do the same thing. We brush our teeth, we eat, we do, and do, we do. He says it's like a routine. The more and more you get better at it, the more and more, that's how he talks, the more and more you get better at it, and the more and more you do, the more natural it is, and it becomes a way of life. I really dig it, man. I wake up every day now in the part of my routine, man, and say my word of the day. I say, good God Almighty. So everybody was clicking. It was like a movie. I say, man, I'm tripping. So I had a spill, man, where I wanted to talk emotionally. I almost started crying. I said, good God Almighty. We had a lady visitor in the back. For real now, that's what I'm talking about. We had a lady in the back. I ain't know who she was. I ain't know what she represented. But she ended up feeling this real raw power. I caught myself. I said, God, Trev, you got to hold it. My big brother Winston, retired veteran, 35, sir, 35 years of service, Marine. Come there every day, man, to truly give from his soul. I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't got to do nothing. So he come up there. Like I said, this ain't just about the children. He come up there, his part. He got to brush his teeth every day, too. So he said, today my word is purpose. He said, you know, I was just thinking last night, man. You know, it's like out of all the things I've ever done in my life and all the things I ever did, just waking up every day, coming here, man, it's like, I'm really fulfilling my purpose. I said, wow. That made me cry, cause. I said, this is my big brother. He really successful in this here world, man. He ain't got to do nothing but what he want to do. And still young. He ain't got to do nothing but what he want to do. And he's still young. And he want to come and teach alongside with me. And that's what we're doing. 
We trying to become this. We doing this. So I had to step out the room. So good God, this thing real. So how is all of us linking up with these words to make it make sense? How? So we step outside. Me and big brother Winston. He said, yo, Trav, yo, you, you almost cry when I, when I said my word. Now, I just want y'all to imagine this. Imagine a black man, Hulk, goddamn, damn, Hulk. See, I almost cried when I said, man, when that shit was deep, bro. I say, what? You almost cried. So we're talking about the hero spirit. It's just the power of words, man. It's the power of words, man. I ain't playing the game with you. We don't come here to train, and I'm telling you I got the answers. And no, man, I ain't playing the game with you. I'm sharing it with you. I'm showing you how the game works so we can work it. I got eight young men who just have a sincere conversation about words. Common words that induce feelings and ideas that invoke your experience. He had two grown men in the months of these children who almost caught the hero ghost. Notice I said hero ghost. Our spirit got so overwhelmed with the power of unity in that room, man. That we almost broke down in tears. You see, you notice I don't say Holy Ghost. Because that's just a group of words. That's called semantics. I don't use the God spell. See, if I use the God spell, I'll use all the words that's associated with God. And when I use the God, the connotation of the word God makes you surrender, makes you forfeit your own mind, makes you forfeit your own understanding, makes you forfeit your own confidence, makes you forfeit your own experiences, makes you forfeit your own reality. So I don't use that because I want you to be real in the moment, in every moment. So I use real words that make you believe in yourself and have confidence and know that you are enough and know that you add value. And I love you so much that I'm going to show you how to use them on yourself so that you can catch it anywhere, anytime. And they say, what's wrong with them? You ain't got to play no game. You just say, I feel good. And they say, how can I feel like that? Be real. Be real with yourself. Understand that we all we got. We all we need. And if you really understand that, you understand what I mean when I say when you walk into a room, you add value. You add power. You are enough. The him within you, the church within you, the her within you. That's the mighty wind I blow. And if we blow it together at the same time, at the same rhythm, in the same way, we can move any goddamn thing. See how that work. We romanticize the ideas of becoming with no reality of being. I'm just on here looking at myself on a computer screen. I pity the fool that think he's realer than me through Facebook. Put him in the room and let me show you better than I can tell you. And what I'm going to show you ain't got nothing to do with me. Got something to do with we. See how that work. I love you. I love you. I love you for real, man. I'm going to get out of here, man. Like I say, man, and I mean this, and I say this with my ego. I ain't just no motherfucker on here talking. I ain't just no motherfucker on here talking. One of my brothers say, man, you shouldn't open your mouth for less than $10,000 to speak. 
He say that in a way to say, man, you better earn your value. You better know, man. You gotta stop giving this shit away for free, man. Man, you gotta, man, you gotta believe in yourself. They telling me all the things that I'm telling these children. I'm telling myself, man, you got to be. They said, man, 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 you should be rich by now. But about 10 o'clock this morning, man, I was standing in my purpose, man, crying, man, with so much love and so much joy and so much purpose and so much realness. Man, don't you ever think you can put a motherfucking price on that? You can't put a price on realness and you can't put a price on giving. Or value, especially if you ain't never known how to give it. I give it because I ain't got nothing else to do with it. See how that works. And I'm all right in life. And I'm all right in life. I'm still striving. I still need fortitude every day, man. I ain't got it figured out. I just got to wake up every day and run the goddamn play. And when I'm on offense, man, I see that defense, man. And I ain't mad at that defense because that defense is necessary for the game to go. And I understand that defense got a job. That defense job is to tackle me, man. That defense job is to stop me. You know what I mean? I ain't mad at him. That's his job. They've been training him and, and, and working with him and teaching him. Say, you got to stop him. Now you on the defense. But what that man, I hope he understands and knows. I've been training to run up his motherfucking chest. And I've been trained to see him coming. And I've been trained to hit him with this forearm so hard that I hope he got hard. Because he's going to understand and say, y'all ain't tell me that part of it. And when I'm on defense, I understand. He think he going somewhere. He think he coming through me. And he looking at me saying, you damn right. I've been training for this. But what he need to understand and what he need to know, I ain't mad at him for coming either because that's his job. This has to happen for it to work. If he ain't on the other side or I ain't on the other side, the game ain't happening. This pointless. So you got to know your position and how this shit work. So when I see the opposition, oh, yeah, no matter if I'm tired, no matter if I'm weak, no matter if whatever, my arthritis fucking with me. I don't work seven days in a week. I ain't sat down yet. And here he comes. He got to feel him. <laughs> God Almighty. He got to feel him. And him a bad motherfucker. I love y'all, man. I don't went hard tonight, man. You know what I mean, man? Hey, look, I don't went hard tonight, man. I don't went hard tonight, man. Real talk. Because I felt good tonight. I don't went hard tonight because I felt good, man. I don't went hard tonight because I felt good. Hold on. I don't went hard tonight because I felt good, man. Yeah. I felt good, man. I felt good, man. I felt good. I like I say, man. That is how I feel. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's see how I feel. Come on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, y'all. We're gonna go out like this. They ain't gonna do it like that. Don't y'all go nowhere. I want y'all to go out on this joint here with me. You know what I mean? I want y'all to go out on this here joint. I want y'all to go out with me now. I want y'all to go out with me now. Hey man, you can play this song on Spotify. Hey man, hey man, what up, Chris Crater? Hey man, you know what I'm talking about now. What up now, bro? You know what I'm talking about. What up, Shanti? I love y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Hey man, you can listen to this shit anywhere, man. It ain't nothing but that hood, so you know what I'm talking about. But every day, man, y'all wake up and run the play, man. And every day we're gonna come back to this hill harder. We're gonna come back to this hill harder, man. We're gonna go over these plays, man. Before long, this harder gonna be real life, man. Why should I tell you now? Every last one of y'all that pay me some attention. 
Every last one of y'all that play me some tension, man, for long this huddle gonna be real, man. That's my word. I don't play with my words, man. That's my word. We're gonna have this thing, man, where we come together. Yeah, it's on Apple Music. It's on Airwell, bro. Trap P, man. T R A B dot P. You know what I mean? Hood Soul Music, man. It's out there, bro. But watch what I tell you, man. That hood soul is hero training. This words to grow on, man. We're going to have this thing live and live in color, man. And I'm going to tell y'all to tell y'all preacher to come. And if that motherfucker come to the hood soul experience, I promise you if my name ain't Trap, he going to walk away with a conviction to say, I can't play no more. I refuse to play ever again in my life. I refuse to play ever again in my life. And I mean that so much from my heart and so much to my soul that I know, man, in real life, man, I ain't never said before man that can play that game for real man because i don't play it and i got them play goddamn i don't play that game but i already know man this thing gonna be real man i love y'all man and i don't care if i do it for the rest of my life for free i ain't got nothing else to do with it what else i'm gonna do with it what else i'm gonna do with it i ain't got nothing else to do with it i love y'all man